One, two, we back. It's the All Relevant Show with myself, DJ Rel Maddox. Steve Too Cool. And our very, very, very special guest is in the building. Yeah. Phenomenal artist, you know what I'm saying? And we was on females tonight, so it was only right that we brought a bomb female MC in the building here with us. We have Miss Diamond Sky. What's up, y'all? How y'all right? feeling? So fly to you two us. Yes, but why and why not? Absolutely, absolutely. So I, I'm, I'm really excited to have you up here because I'm saying, long time friend, I'm saying, been spitting as, as long as I've known you, I'm saying, and yes. I'm not going, I'm not going to tell everybody how long I've known you. That's <laughs> fine. It might, it might show it's, age. It's no you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? It's no mask. No mask. I'm saying we like a diamond here. We a diamond. Yes, you know we are. I'm saying, been spitting it. You know what I'm saying, killing it forever. Every time I see her, it's like, yo, spit something, please, 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 spit <laughs> something. You know what I'm saying, I got this nigga here. You know what I'm saying, like, you think he's spitting? You know what I'm saying, spit something for him. You know what I'm saying, and you know what I'm saying, she been doing it hard by like since, like. And I'm just like, I'm just happy to see you in the building. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? So it now, took me long enough to come to the front, you know? Absolutely. Last right. year, I finally um, met someone and they gave me the motivation to come to the forefront. It wasn't that I was afraid. It's just that I don't really like attention. Right, who, who was right, that? Right. Who, who did you get that advice from? Um, that was Rock Steezy. Uh -huh. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Oh, yeah. He was in a couple of movies and yes. So I got the motivation from him. Motivation. That's what's up. So I mean, like, what what did he say that was like, yo, I got big moves? Okay, like, so um, some girl off Instagram who was my friend, she called me, and at this time I was just like, f music, like I'm just living my life, and she was like, you so hot, you gotta come, please, like maybe he can help you, and I didn't want to. My dad talked me into it, uh -huh. and I went down there, and um, I sung for him, and he was hyped. He was like, oh, I love it. And he was like, he played this song, and I started to write a hook, and then we were just chilling. And then like an hour went by, and she was like, well, I brought you down here really to let you hear her rap. And then when I read for him, that's when he went crazy. He was like, okay, <laughs> wait a minute. He, right. he wanted to, you know, do Absolutely. business then. Yeah. How, how long have you been rapping? Ten years. Wow, I was there at the beginning. Yeah. Yo, she That's was when I first she started. was hot then, like right. And <laughs> what I want to know is what even got you into rapping. You know what I mean? Because when I hear you rap, it really feel like that's what That's you like my to lane, do, right? Right. Uh, well, I mean, first of all, I do have four personalities. I have to put that out there. I am a Gemini, and they tap in and out. Rap is one side of me. Um, mm -hmm. Music, well, singing has always been in me since a child, and poetry. And rap was just like my way of fighting against the world because I was always shy and I don't know, rap was like my way to come to the front. So I felt like I could say more. And it showed my hard side without me feeling like I was a nigga. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> you you got in, in my observation, like you got one of those things, it's like uh they call it like the it factor. Okay. I believe that because it's one of those like a lot of people can rap. You know what I mean? A lot of people got talent, but it's kind of one of those things like where you got a certain talent and then you just play with it and you're so comfortable with it. That's yeah. what I that's what I kind of like about your style. Thank you. So when did it, when did it come to a point where it's though it's like I got this and this is what I'm going to do and I'm gonna have fun with it. Where where did that love for the, you know rap and hip hop come from? I can't say it came from listening to music. I just started listening to music again. A month ago. Wow. Um, yeah, I just was in silence. I don't watch TV. I don't listen to music. I was just living in my head. And <laughs> I'm being real. This is the no mask. And this will bring you to my project that's coming out, Deception. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, a lot of people that heard me rap wouldn't think that I was from the city or they would uh -huh. ask me where I was from. I just hear melodies and I just do it. Simple. Where? All right. So if you're not so listening, I'm not mimicking anyone. <laughs> if you're not <laughs> listening to, to no music, right? Right. And you got all these crazy lyrics, you got these experiences and stuff. Like, where is that coming from? Like, where are you drawing in? What's the story? I'm a storyteller at heart. Uh -huh. Um, but everything I spit about is true. I uh, just tap into points of my life that I don't want people, like I don't want to discuss in front of people. So I use music as an outlet. Mm -hmm. So that's where it comes from. So initially, you was introduced um, as a singer, 
Like, do you um, do you have anything that you're, you're singing on, or it's just straight? Um, I, <clears throat> I wasn't introduced to the city as just a singer. Um, when I first started working with Rock Steezy last year in March, the first thing we put out was a video on YouTube. I did a cover on Bruno Mars' Locked Out of Heaven and Meek Mill's intro. We put that in one video. So in the first half, I'm singing, and then I go into the rap and showing everyone both sides of me. Okay. So I was introduced as both. Right. And that's how you plan on continuing the situation? Oh, definitely. How, I have to. How important is it to you to create your own lane? It's very important um, at this point in my life because after um, that one video was put out, the lane that um, I was put in was continued and just rap, mainly mm. rap. And it became difficult. It became difficult for me as an artist and a writer because I'm, I rap with melodies, you know, so I wanted to sing some things. I wanted to just talk some things. I didn't always want to keep just spitting, spitting, right. spitting, right. spitting. Right. It started to become boring. It wasn't a challenge. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely finding my own lane because I have to say I'm just free with this. This mm. is the, the fastest project. I wrote it in two days, and this is the fastest I've ever written anything because mm. I, I feel like, you know, I'm creating that lane. And I do aspire to go in a lane more of Lauren Hill rather than the hard lane that I was in. She's one of my biggest inspirations. Wait a minute. And I'm I had sorry. to tap I back had to into cut her. You off, but two days? Two days I wrote this project. What kind of process? <laughs> like, <laughs> was that like a, I'm on lockdown? I'm, I'm in here. Stress. Like, Don't nobody bother me. Stress. I'm not doing nothing. Stress. Stress. Please, everybody get out. I, type situation. A lot of things have been happening in my life. I mean, in any category you name. I'm like, fuck my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I've been going through. So stress. And it, it just came out. That's, there it is. Wow. Yeah. That's major. Like yeah. two days. Like that, that's a two lot days. of a lot of, you know what I'm saying, information and a lot of things you have <laughs> built up. Like it was like, I just got to throw this down. Like the hand just didn't stop moving. It was like this. Like <laughs> no yeah. past type situation or that whole situation. Like yeah. that's crazy. That I mean, and that, and that right there definitely takes a lot of... Uh, Talent, like yeah. let's, let's do it. People don't understand how hard that is. I remember, I, I remember being in school and I had a teacher that was like, he was cool because he was kind of teaching us, you know, rap and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So it was cool, whatever. He had us, you know, it was kind of like what Diddy did on Make It in the Band. He had us walk and try to rap. Oh wow! That's the hardest thing to do, like try to catch it's your breath and walk. But it really prepared you to, you know, what I mean, to be able to learn how to catch your breath and stuff like that. If you if you got it naturally, hey, look, big ups to you. You know what I mean? Like, right. That's right, because it's, it's really hard. That's that's one of those traits that people don't appreciate. You don't even think about it, do you? I don't. See, that's time. Well, let's do this then. Let's not think, man. Let's throw on a beat, Crazy, You got something? You know what I'm saying, let's let's you know what I'm saying, spit something. Right, you know what I'm saying, let's 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 do it. You know what I'm saying, like. What you got? These guys who wise. Yeah. I'm the realest voice in my city. 215 King Me, call me Lady Gilly. Meek Mill Flow, Mrs. Philly. I'm the voice like a chill through your body, gon' feel me. Murder any rapper, make these rappers wanna kill me. Too many haters, Philly lifestyle. Presidential rolly on my bare wrist. Hate to see a young chick get a sweet vic. And I ain't gotta blow a nigga toe to toe with any nigga. Blowing niggas all blowing up. On the block, chillin', sippin', yeah, I'm juiced up. Gotta get it in your minute, cause I need it now. Rock, hold me down, put a stack down. Lay your niggas down, didn't need a four pound. What? I only had to lay a verse down. I guess these rap bitches gon' need a hearse now. Yup, obituary cemetery, catching cases. Started from the bottom, a problem in mama basement. Drama from baby mama, they baby fathers be calling, but nothing is more important. Conquer this lyrical sport. I'm a Going leader, didn't she like Derek Jeter? Game going leader, and her city going feet. I ain't going broke. The hottest rapper going choke. One to the head, pop power, never rapper dead. Yeah, and I'm me and these niggas, fuck that. Me and my money, trust that. Don't cuff, I don't cuff back. Just one fuck, I don't come back. My bad, my nigga on. Pussy strong, good cologne. Money long, not long enough, but I'm working hard till my order up. This nigga soft, sorta of tough. Bitch is hard, no emotion. D sky, got the potion. Come and get some of this love ocean. Loyalty, I spoil V. And by V, I'm talking me. Loyalty, I spoil V. By V, I'm talking me. Yeah. Let's turn up. Let's get another beat on here. Let's go. Mm. 
I blew two to the head to blow my mind and clear time from all the shit that I did. So I couldn't really focus on the positive things. I'm being negative, but that was how it got at the bank. So the blessing of a mill roof, water, and sink got overlooked in my possession of material things. And I couldn't really focus on the serious things like what religion in my, my conversations with God. Grown woman, but I'm feeling like I'm stuck as a child. Immature ways, spreading my legs, looking for love. Broke my last dub, threw half in the tank. Started laughing because I wasn't on my way to the bank. It hurts. Giving up was what I started to think. Cause you can make it to the top and lose it all in a day. And motherfuckers want to see you fall anyway. And every way, I keep praying for a better day. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you said, oh, oh. Oh, cause I'm ready to split myself. Oh, you ready, bro? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, you oh, ready. Right, right. going on this? <laughs> uh. Right? Oh. Oh. We don't live the same life, we don't think the same Cause it's levels to this shit Whatever spot you in, you better hold it down Cause I'm coming for your shit oh. I've been around the block and right back around So believe I know my shit One level, two level, your level My level on another level in this bitch Cause it's levels to the shit Pedal, pedal, ride to the shit Ghetto, yellow, bone in this bitch And the flow superb and it's on my turn Nigga, turn to the right cause I'm all turned up Thick little thing, cause I'm all grown up. Always talking money, but he never showed up. I done came in the game, made a strain in the butt. Woo! With my no name bag, what? And my no name shirt. So, with an MK watch, yeah, make the swag gon' hurt. Uh, I ain't met a bitch yet. Uh, they can match my flow, cause this is original individuality. I ain't chasing nobody because I'm chasing the salary, uh -huh. and I got no time for the uh -huh. bullshit. Just me, my nigga, and a full clip. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Let's go! I'm sorry, bro! Let's yeah. go! Deception. Deception. I'm taking the mask off. Uh, I also want to give y'all a deeper meaning on this title because I am a female. We talked about females right. in the game. Um, you know, woman was actually the first creature on earth to be deceived. And I feel like that's the reason why we're still easily deceived more than men out here. And I think that's why, you know, y'all make it further in a. a uh, industry like you know the music industry because right. y'all can see things that we can't see women are nurturers and we want to love and care and trust motherfuckers and <laughs> and that's why we get deceived and you know my head goes off to all the women who made it especially miss jade Miss J. Shout out to Miss Big Shout yes, out to Miss J. Yes, that was my first breakthrough record in the city. Uh, I nice. met her here at UE. Right. At a cipher. And I sung and read for her outside. And she was like, yes, I will work with you. Bye, girl. Take a seat. <laughs> you can't stand it. Uh, yes. Right, yeah. And I'm nice. a honor. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no deception going on here. They are real rap, real bars. Right. No deception. Real Big bars. Shout out to it's all the me, female MCs it. in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to all y'all trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to all y'all that have done it. You know what I'm saying? It's all love here at the All Relevant Show. You know what I'm saying? PSP, man. You know what I'm saying? We support, support the females. You know what I'm saying? PSF. Really support females. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we out here. You know what I'm saying? For the female artists that's coming out. You know what I'm saying? And Miss Dunn Sky, you know what I'm saying? Thank All you. Relevant is on deck, you know what I'm saying? For whatever you're trying to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when the drone drop, we definitely won't have a drink. I, yeah, I don't care if you're rapping at a house party. I'm just smart. We're going to be on spin. At a house saying? party. And anything you got going on, we will attend. So in closing, I just want to say that I'm not a rapper, no. I'm not a trapper, no. I'm not a gangster, no. I'm not a singer, no. I'm just a hungry motherfucker with a whole lot of bitches in my way. Uh, but I'ma make my way into the car. And I'ma show these fake motherfuckers right to the fucking door. Mm.